Hey what's going on guys it's Moon here and today I've got another subscribe squad builder for you and yes I got the episode number wrong on the last episode but I'm not even going to try it this time just in case I do get it wrong but we've got absolutely beast hybrid here just really really good players a lot a lot of coins it's costing but it looks an absolutely beast team to play with as well so if you want to continue to send in squads please do and if you can give your opinions on the players whether you've played against them or come across them I want to see your opinions whether they match mine and just see maybe how they work because I haven't played with the majority of these players especially the informed versions I've played with the normal versions quite a bit but none of the informed so as always we'll start off in goal we've got Joe Hart the team of the year one gonna cost you about 180,000 coins a very very dear but I have I've never played with them of course can't afford that type of players you'll know but I've came across him once or twice I can't remember exactly but he's an absolute beast and he was an absolute nightmare to score past really really good in goal Nightmare to score past. I think I won that game by only scoring one or two goals, so and I was quite dominant in that game. But nightmare to score past. Very, very good keeper. And if you if you can afford him, definitely, definitely get him. He seems one of the better rated goalkeepers. I'm not going to try and pronounce his good name, so I can leave that up to you how you pronounce it. But he's going to cost you about seventy one thousand coins. Of course, I did a League One remake, which you guys never saw because I played with it for one or two games and it just did not work for me, so I sold it straight away. But one of the highlights of the team was him. I had the informed version, it was either an 82 or an 81, quite, cost quite a bit back in, back I think a couple of months ago and of course this team of the year one costing 71,000 is not cheap whatsoever but I could remember he was a really really good left back, solid in defence and brilliant going forward, absolutely fantastic going forward and I could imagine with the 91 pace he's even better with this card so again if you can afford it definitely definitely get him. Uh, our first centre back of course is Fanny, used the right back version in my Liga 1 squad, that was absolutely age ago, one of the first squad builders I ever did. Fanny's going to cost you about 58,000 coins. Very, very good player at right back. Very solid defensively. So I could see how he could work at centre back. I don't know if you ever use them as centre back. Sometimes when the right back or left back converted to centre back, they can be a bit, I don't know, the positioning can be a bit off sometimes. So that might be a downside to using them. But he seems his stats look very good and he looks like a very, very solid defender. Roger Johnson, I think one of the early informs. He's going to cost you about 23,000 coins. Very good player, came across him once, only once because he's very rare to come across because I think he's only one of the early informers as I've just mentioned. But everyone, everyone who's played with him and played against him seems to really like him. He's a nightmare to get past in defence, very solid, got good pace, 75 pace there, good defending and good heading, especially for an only 81 card. And that's the only things you're worried about, shooting, passing, dribbling, not so much. Maybe the passing could be a bit better, but otherwise he's a very, very solid centre-back. At right back we've got Kyle Walker who's going to cost you about 200,000 coins. I think mainly because of his pace and I have used of course the normal version and he's fantastic. Really really pacey of course the main attributes of his in his normal card. But with this team of the year card you've got the better attributes with shooting, passing, dribbling, defending and heading. So again if you can afford them probably get him but he seems a bit expensive for 200,000 coins. Of course these prices may be a bit off because prices are always fluctuating on ultimate team at the moment coming to the end of the game. So don't take them for exact prices just take them for around that price our first centre mid is going to be van der Vaart of course use the normal card a lot of times normal van der Vaart is going to cost you about I don't know well the team the team of the year van der Vaart is going to cost you about 130,000 coins which is quite cheap for a team of the year player of course but I, I don't know if he's worth it because I've never played with him or played against him the normal card I'd probably play him as a centre mid in a 4-5-1 formation or a CDM say in a 4-2-3-1 formation I think that's where he'd work best just because his pace is so low and he just doesn't seem to drive the attack too much so is he worth it I'd say probably not but it, it, I've never used him so I couldn't give you like a proper answer to that uh, in, in the three of the midfield we've got Mabu I think I think that's how you mount it. Not hundred percent sure, but we've got about forty five thousand coins for him. He's cheap, a lot cheaper than Van der Vaart, but again, for a team of the year, stats aren't amazing. Like eighty pace, sixty one shooting, eighty five passing, eighty dribbling, eighty seven defending is the standout one. So I, I could imagine he's being converted from a CDM, but he's going to cost you, as I said, forty five thousand coins. So I think he'd be good as a CDM or a centre mid, say in the four five one formation, but he just doesn't seem to look look fantastic never played with them or played against them i might try him out when i build my league of one squad again but he looks like a decent player but not the greatest not i don't think worth forty five thousand coins now i've got the arrow from marseille of course i think he's been converted from a cdm definitely with defending heading like that so again he'd be better cdm or a center mid in the four five one formation this midfield seems very defensive in my opinion but the attack looks absolutely brilliant but the r is going to cost you about sixteen thousand coins and for those defenders that's if you're going to play as a cdm i think he'd be definitely worth it 
Left wing, of course, we've got Hazard. Used him in my Belgium and Liga 1 squad. Going to cost you about 200,000 coins in the 91 team of the year. And his stats look absolutely amazing. I think he's got a right foot. I'll just check that now. Yeah, he's got a right foot. So, he's going to... Well, his main foot... Of course, he's got a right foot. But his main... His strongest foot is his right foot. So, he can cut in from the left-hand side. And with those stats... I think it'd just be absolutely brilliant because the normal Hazard is brilliant anyway. So that team of the year one has just got absolutely amazing. So that's 93 pace, 91 shooting, 90 passing, 95 dribbling. Looks an absolute beast. That's all I can say about it. And for 200 coins, that's quite a good price, I'd say, for a player like that. We'll go over to right wing now, of course. Robin, a player that has eluded my squads this year in Ultimate Team just because of his price. He's going to cost you about 193,000 coins. He's a, one of the... One of, a really really good player and I would have loved to have him in my team and everyone moans when I didn't have him in the Dutch team or the Bundesliga couple of teams I made and it's just because the price was too high and I couldn't fit him in with the rest of the team but of course would have loved to have him in the team he's a very good player I've come across him his right foot's really really poor but his left foot is absolutely brilliant and finally we'll finish off with the striker Huntelaar going to cost you about 215,000 coins looks an absolute beast I've heard the I think it's an 85 and form is an absolute beast as well so I could imagine the 93 to be even better I think the 93 I think normal Ronaldo is 92 so he's actually better than the normal Ronaldo card so even with 83 pace you've got the two really really fast wingers there and I think in this team, it'd just be the three forwards doing the most of the work, getting the goals. I think the midfield would sit a lot back in front of the defence. Maybe one of the changes I would make to this team is maybe get more of an attacking midfielder in there if you could fit in with a hybrid. I think that would make the team a little bit better, but of course, that's just my opinion. So the whole team's going to cost about 1,331,000 1, 1, coins. Very, very expensive for a very, very good squad. And if you want to see the bench, if you're just interested, I think it's just like a, a Serie A with some Brazilian hybrids in there as well, like with the likes of Thiago Neves and Hulk as well. So hopefully, guys, you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you think you deserve it. Of course, just send in your squads. This is the type of squads I want to see. I'll see you guys later.